Hello my beautiful souls, this is Moon Seeker for Light Guardian and today I'm doing a conversation with the Divine Masculine. If you're interested in getting this for yourself as a personal reading, a conversation with the Divine Masculine or a conversation with the Divine Feminine, you can get this in my shop. Just go into the description box below and you'll have all the information you need. So let's get started. Let's see what the Divine Masculine wants to talk about today. What is on his mind? This is a general reading, so please take a resonate, leave the rest. Don't try to make anything fit. If this is not your story, it's not your story. And that is absolutely okay. We have the lovers. So he has you and him on his mind. This divine masculine. I do say he and she, but they are not um, gender specific. They're just energies. So the divine masculine has you and him on their mind because I think they have been thinking about this this uh, this um, divine connection for a while now. I'm sensing like the way things are heading, where things are heading. We have here the five of wands. Yes, because they've been on conflict. They've been in conflict with their head space and their heart space. They've been like up and down when it comes to the two of you. Yes, no, yes, no. That, that headspace is saying, no, they'll hurt you. They'll do this, you know, because it's there's pride and ego, there's fear, there's limiting beliefs. The heart space is saying, yes, go for this. You know this is a divine connection. You know this this resonates for you on a totally different level than anything else. This is on a soul level. But they're going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. We have the queen of uh, wands here in reverse. This is like they're not standing in their power. They're not being authentic. There's an there's an air of desperation as well when it comes to this card here in reverse. And we have the page of wands in in reverse. They're being pessimistic. They are DLS when it comes to this. Both both of these flames, this wand, this passion is not as strong as it used to be. There is an en energy of allowing the flame to fizzle out, to to fa to, to go out because that this 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 energy here is about a little desperate desperation. There's this this pessimistic point of view when it comes to these lovers. This is because of this battle, this conflict that they're having with their headspace and their heart space. I feel like with these two cards here, the headspace is winning. But with this card here, it's not all about the heart space. It's all about the lovers. It's all about this divine connection. But this conflict is ongoing. And that is what the divine masculine wants to talk about today is this ongoing conflict they're having when it comes to this union. So let's dive a little deeper. I'll do the lovers last. I'll start with this uh, this five of wands. So what does uh, do they have to say about this five of wands here? I feel badly for the way that I treated you. You didn't deserve that. No, you didn't. This was because they were in conflict with themselves. They were hot and cold. They said and did things that you didn't deserve. And they know this. But they did it because of the energy they were in. Seeing you reminds me of the things I know deep down. And that's not always easy to deal with. So perhaps they are... Um, perhaps you guys are not in contact. Perhaps one of you... When you guys do see each other, they're being, again, hot and cold. They're being a little bit reserved. This is because they, they, they seeing you triggers them to know that they're, what the stuff they did. It triggers them to go to go back to this conflict, to this struggle they're having. But the thing is that after this conflict and struggle comes change, they're, I feel like they're on the brink of change, but they're still they're getting pulled back. They take two steps forward, one step back. That's where they're at currently. And seeing you reminds them of all the stuff that they need to to address, all the things that they need to actually deal with. Let's have a look at this page of wands here. Why are they being a pessimist when it comes to the to review?
I need more time to figure things out. This is why they're being pessimistic. This is why they don't have any solutions, any ideas to how to mend these things, how to bring about change. They need more time. They need more time to figure things out. They need more time to walk this path so they can truly learn the lessons at hand here. What else? I know you're right, but I need to come to my own conclusions. They know you've told them a few truths few truths and they know you're right they know that this is uh, they should heed your advice but again they need to walk this path they need to walk this path for themselves so that they can they can truly learn the lessons from this they could be able to turn this energy around turn it into from being a pessimist and being out of ideas to someone who is a free spirit, someone who's explorer, someone who's enthusiastic, someone who will jump on and tackle things head first. Let's have this uh, Queen of Wands here, this air of desperation, not being authentic. I don't know how I feel anymore. So they're feeling this, this, this energy of desperation because they don't know how they feel anymore. They... Because they're in that energy of being um, pessimistic as well, they're like, they don't know how they feel when it comes to this love, they don't know how they feel when it comes to this journey they're on. But the thing is that they do know how they feel. They do know. This is because they are not being authentic. They are not, not stepped into their own power. As long as they're unauthentic, they will not be able to, to be in the fields because they're not in their heart space. They're too much in their head space. They're too much in that five of one's energy, in that struggle. This one flipped over here. No other compares to you. So you see here, like, I don't know how I feel anymore. But they know that nobody else compares to you. They know exactly how they feel. They know. They're just in this energy of being in the Five of Wands energy. And being in the Queen of Wands energy in reverse. Where they're just desperate. Like, they have this air of desperation. Where they're perhaps feeling needy or clingy. And those needs are not being met right now. Because you guys are perhaps separated. Um, you guys might perhaps don't talk as much as you used to. But it's like, no, they know that no other compares to you. Because this is a divine connection. This is the lovers. You guys are the lovers. So what do they have to say about the lovers? I have two cards that flipped over here. I can't seem to find the words to say to you. So they're struggling to express themselves, to express the love for you. They are stumbling on their words. They can't get the words out. Once they do come out, they come out wrong. This is because they haven't stepped into their power. They're not authentic. They need to step into the power and be the authentic selves. So lying to you was easier for me than telling you the truth. Because they couldn't tell you the truth at the time because they weren't in their power. They weren't in their feelings. They were in their headspace. They were still in this conflict, yes, but they was the the, the headspace was winning, so they lied to you because it was easier for them. It was easier for them having to deal with their shadows, to deal with the hurt and pain, to deal with expressing their emotions. I know I screwed things up, and I honestly have no idea to fix it. Yes, we've seen that here. They are idealists. They don't have really. The energy or the capacity right now to come up with anything not until they turn this energy around not until they start stepping into their power and they allow for this battle to finally come to a close because at the end of the day for most of them the heart's gonna win they're gonna step into their heart spaces and then they'll be able to figure out a way to come back towards these lovers and the last card here we have is it possible to forgive and forget? They want to come forward towards you and ask for your forgiveness. Ask for you to, to, um, to apologize for the things that they did and said to you that you didn't deserve. To apologize for every time they screwed you over, for every time they hurt you, for every time they made you cry. They want to be able to forgive and forget and move away from it. And it'll be up to you whether or not you forgive and forget. And with the forgetting, you know, it could be just not that you forget that it ever happened, but you, you let it go. You actually let that energy go and you move on. You don't keep bringing it up over and over again and throwing it in their faces. 
bottom of the deck of these ones here we have um, five of cups and um, I'm a better person because of you this loss of this grief that they had to go through has helped them become a better person has helped them um, transform is going to help them transform into the person that they need to be to come back to these lovers this focusing on what was in front of them was um what they're doing right now but they're gonna start looking behind them she's holding these flowers there's still hope there's still love there's still something there it's just behind them they can't see that because they haven't turned around but they want you to know that they're a per better person because of you because of what you have taught them so guys that is today's reading thank you so much for watching if you guys are interested in this reading like i said all the information you need is in the description box below please like comment subscribe share if you feel so inclined and i'll see you guys next time thank you bye